So like I said, this is going to be the last video on probability rules. Um, we're just doing one quick example. It's going to be a quick video where we uh, incorporate pretty much all of the probability rules. So um, I made it a kind of a nice boring example. They didn't put any background detail. It's just about how to do the calculations, how to mix them together. Um, and once you know how to do this, you can apply it to a question with, say, more detail and more words. Uh, but this is just the basics. So there are two events, A and B. The probability of A is 0 0.6. The probability of B is 0 0.4. And they tell us that the two events are independent. They want us to find P of A intersect B, P of A union B, and P of A given B. Okay, three different, um, three different calculations. So we'll start with number one, P of A intersect B. So we know since the two events are independent, that independent events, follow this formula here. P of A intersect B is equal to P of A times P of B. And so we know it's independent, so that means we can use this formula to find out P of A intersect B. If they weren't independent, we couldn't do that. So it's just 0 0.6 times 0 0.4, um, and that'll give us an answer of 0 0.24. So that's the first one, handy enough. We'll go yellow for the second one. Um, P of A union B. So this is the first probability rule, the union probability. P of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A union B. So even though we not like, they're just kind of random numbers that I gave you and they're just A and B, um, the rule still holds true. So even though we don't really know what we're talking about, it's, it's harder to uh, think about it when you're not thinking about, say, rolling a dice or a deck of cards with the examples we used. But the, the point I'm trying to make is that the formula still makes sense. You can still use it. So it's 0 0.6 plus 0 0.4 minus 0 0.24 um, and that'll give us an answer of 0 0.76 okay and then the last one here is the um, probability of a given b so part three p of a given b so we know b and we're trying to find out um, the probability of a if we know b so p of a intersect b divided by the probability of B, and that's just the formula. Um, so P of A intersect B is going to be 0 0.24 divided by the probability of B is 0 0.4. Uh, and that'll give us an answer of 0 0.6. Okay, so that's interesting. The probability of A happening, if we know that B has already happened, is 0 0.6. And that's the exact same as the original probability of A. And so the reason behind that is because the events are independent. So knowing that one of them is gonna happen or knowing that one of them is true doesn't affect the other one. So I said that in the last video that this, the conditional probability only really matters for dependent events. For independent events, you should get the same answer. And um, so they could ask you to, I guess, explain that in the exam. So just that's why I, I went through it. Um, and then by the same reasoning, P of B given A should be the exact same, so it's, it's so it should still be 0 0.4 because the events are independent. So hopefully that makes sense. I just kind of wanted to show you how you can use some of those, um, I guess, probability rules and mix them together a little bit. Uh, that's it for probability rules. In the next video, we're going to look at tree diagrams. So we'll see you then. And if you like the video, then don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video with your friends. Thanks.